They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Friction. Oh, Tom Thomas, that door of yours squeaks terribly. Yeah, and it's not easy to open either. Well, that's because the hinges are rubbing. That's why your door is not working right. How can I fix it? Just reduce the amount of friction. How? With some oil on the hinges. I can do it for you because I've got a pack of mat. All right. Can I help you? Sure you can. Wear the pack mat all right? Friction is the force that tries to stop something from sliding or rubbing smoothly against something else. Rubbing can make things wear out quickly if there's a lot of friction. If you want less friction, you need to put something on the parts that rub against each other, like oil. There are special kinds of grease used to keep clocks and wheels turning smoothly. And for skis, a special kind of wax can be used to make them go even faster. That's it. Now the top hinge. It's all done. Go ahead and check how it's working. It's not squeaking. I told you. You guys are the best. I gotta go. Go where? I'm gonna go sledding. Maybe you'll take me with you? Uh, sorry, Nolik. You don't have a sled to ride on. I'll see you later. Simka, should I grease the saucer? What for? It'll slide down the hill just the way it is. Ah, okay then. <gasps> um, wait here for me, Nolik. I'll be back real soon with a surprise for you. Yeah, oil slippery. I know what I'll do. Hmm. Wow! Talk about no friction! Are you all right? Just stay where you are. I'll be right there. Papus! Papus! Help us, please! Who called for me? Help is on the way! Hey, what are you up to? Grandpa, stay away from here! You'll fall over! Hey? What did you say? Stay where you are! Uh, oh, uh. What happened here? I poured some oil on the table. Why'd you do that? To reduce friction. That's brilliant. Nobody move. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> What was the problem you had with the friction? I want to see all of this oil gone in five minutes. Huh. Engineers are in a constant battle with the force of friction. They want less friction so that cars will run faster and their parts will wear out less quickly. But just imagine what the world would be like if all of a sudden there was simply no friction at all. Everything would start slipping out of our hands and falling off the table. Knots would untie themselves, and that's not the half of it. Cars wouldn't be able to run without friction either. Wheels would spin around and around in one place, unable to grab onto the road. We wouldn't even be able to walk. Because when we walk, we move forward by pushing off the ground with our feet. And how can we do that without friction? We can't. So now I think you can see why it's not so bad to have a little bit of friction in our lives. Whew! We cleaned it. But it's still so stinky. 
No, like, I completely forgot. I promised you a surprise. Look! What is it? I made you your very own saucer for sledding. Oh, that's great! Only, what good is this thing without snow? Nolik, hey! Look what I've got for you! Snow? Yeah. Is it real snow? Really? Yep. Now you've got your very own hill to sled on. This is great! What an awesome surprise! And you don't need oil to make it go quickly. <laughs> Yeehaw! The drain. The fan in the computer needs dusting. Not right now. Me and Tom Thomas are painting a card for his parents' anniversary. Oh, look, who are you? You must be so tired. Hi, Simka. It's really great you're here. I have a question. Twelfth anniversary, is it spelled with an F or is it with a V? Uh, you know what? First put down the number 12 and then put a dash on there and then a TH. Oh, right. But first I'll change the water. I'll be right back. Mama left her ring here. Whoa! Uh, no, uh, uh, no! Oh no, what have I done? Uh, I spoiled my mom and dad's uh, special day. Where? In the bathroom? My mom's ring was lying there, and, and I dropped it into the sink, and now it's washed away. Uh, there goes the day. It didn't wash anywhere. Don't you know anything about how a drain trap works? About a what? A drain trap's a special curved pipe under the sink basin. Water flows out of the faucet and flows down into the drain trap. And after that, it goes down to the sewer. But when you turn off the water, not all of it washes away. Some of it stays down in the drain trap. It's made that way so the smell from the sewer won't get back into the house. A ring is much heavier than water, so if you happen to drop it down the drain, it won't wash away. It will stay at the bottom of the drain trap. Well, that means we still got a chance. Yeah, but how in the world can we get it out of that trap? Who knows? I don't know how to swim. Don't worry. It's all under control. Do you have any thread? Plenty of it. Go get it, and I'll be back in a flash. Hmm. I can't fix it like this. I need my welder. Papoose! I need to borrow your pack mat for a little while. Now that's a coincidence. I need to use it too. Masya, then I need to use your pack mat What? I'll bring it right back. Hey! Where are you going? Just watch what you're doing, dear. Just like the name says, Fixies live to help machines and appliances. But machines are very big and Fixies are very small, so they can't get by without tools. Long ago, Fixies worked with just about anything they could find. Little feathers, threads, pins, but now they have backpacks called pack -a -mats. Inside a pack -a -mat are all sorts of tools. Just push the button and the pack -a -mat spins around quickly shooting out a hook or a magnet or even a parachute. Every adult Fixie has their own pack -a -mat. But before children can get them, they have to go to school and study hard and then pass an exam before they have the rights of a full-fledged Fixie. And it's only after all of that that young Fixies get their own pack -a -mats. And what? You're going down there with just that on? Not just like this. <laughs> yeah, like that. Huh? She was just saying, when I tug on the thread, you need to pull me up. I got it. He just said, I got it. She said, she doesn't need me to repeat what you say.
you. You really saved the day. That's what fixies are for. I said that's what fixies are for. Tom Thomas, who are you talking with in there? Oh, your mom came back. No one. Hey, can you turn back into fixies? I gotta ask you a question. I forgot. Should I write 12th anniversary with an F, or do I write with a V? Just write the number! You're right! But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out.